Hello and welcome to this edition of News Hour on CCTV International. I'm Yang Yin in Beijing. Chinese Premier Wen Jiabao has met with U.S. President Barack Obama in Beijing. Obama is on his first state visit to China since taking office in January. During their meeting in the state guest house, Premier Wen Jiabao said Obama's fruitful visit to China was of far-reaching significance. Wen Jiabao expressed sincere hope that the visit would lift the cooperative China-U.S. relationship to a new level. For his part, Obama said he came determined to strengthen a vital partnership with China. On the same day, Chinese State Councilor Dai Bingguo met with U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. They discussed further ways to cooperate on key issues, including nuclear programs in the DPRK and Iran, and the ongoing situation in Pakistan and Afghanistan. Clinton is accompanying Obama during his visit to China. Chinese President Hu Jintao hosted a banquet for visiting U.S. President Barack Obama in Beijing. Tuesday evening's banquet was held after the two presidents held talks in the Great Hall of the People. Zhang Yajing brings us the story. This is the first state reception dinner since the Golden Banquet Room was newly decorated. President Hu Jintao and his U.S. counterpart arrived together. A multi-course dinner featuring Chinese prawns, soups, and other elaborate dishes is served. The dishes offered the U.S. president a taste of elite Chinese cuisine and culture. Chinese artists greeted the American guests with their performances. A combination of Peking opera, Chinese folk music, ethnic songs, acrobatics, and even Western-style performances are displayed. The U.S. president and other American guests enjoy the show. At the end of the banquet, college students from both countries performed the theme song of the 2008 Beijing Olympics, You and Me, and the American song, That's What Friends Are For. The student performance puts the finishing touches on the gathering. CCTV. U.S. President Barack Obama has visited the forbidden city in Beijing. He described the site as a reminder of the incredible traditions and heritage of the Chinese people. Impressed by the view, Obama said he wanted to return with his wife and their two daughters. Built in the 1400s, the forbidden city was home to 24 Chinese emperors who ruled the country over a period of roughly 500 years. The former imperial palace is also known as the Palace Museum. Earlier, Obama, accompanied by U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, met with Wu Bangguo, the chairman of the Standing Committee of China's National People's Congress. During their meeting, Obama said his visit to China had been very constructive, describing his discussions with President Hu Jintao as in-depth. <laughs> 